Good morning. So I'm on a um, combination job today. So uh, render clean, excuse me, got something in my eye. So a render clean and a patio clean. Um, I suppose you could argue the driveway needs a clean too, but that's not what they've asked me to do. So um, it's just the render and the patio. So let's take you for a walk around and you can see what I'm dealing with. So yeah, um, um, painted render, not in perfect condition, quite a few cracks on it. There's lots of um, black mold on it, a um, little bit of yellow lichen. So but I'm gonna soft wash it first with this 1% sodium hypochlorite mix. Um, and then I'm going to have to gently pressure wash afterwards to get rid of that um, uh, yellow lichen off there because it will kill it but it needs to be removed because it will look ugly um, anyway one thing to note is there's lead on the windows uh, there's lead flashing obviously that's very common uh, one there above the window so you're gonna have to keep that wet um, to make sure it doesn't oxidize and turn well with the one percent it will it will sort of turn yellowy brownish it might not even change if we're lucky um, but the chances are it will so yeah have to keep that wet if it does oxidize even with getting it wet uh, there is ways of sorting it out we'll just put some acid on there and that will turn it back to gray anyway so let's go around the side so there's the start of the patio doesn't look too bad here a little bit green lots of algae on there now this is where it gets bad uh, loads of white lichen loads of it Thank you, back spot, but the dominant one, the main thing here is the white lichen. So that will come off with the pressure washing, but the black spots, obviously, as we all know, needs a hypo treatment. So yeah, there we are. Right, okay, so there's the back of the rendered wall. So there's some dark staining around that air vent. Um, yeah, this should come up all right. I mean, bear in mind the render's not in perfect condition. I uh, have discussed this with the customer. Uh, there's lots of cracks. So they're hoping that once I've cleaned it, all they're going to have to do is get those cracks sort of skimmed over um, and not have it, not, and not have to have it repainted. And I'm pretty confident they won't need it repainting. Um, so I've got to get up on that roof as well, which is not a problem. It's a flat roof, nice and easy. Can't actually see there, but I'll uh, I'll film it later. Anyway, let's get set up and crack on. Right, I'm all set up, ready to go. So I've just wet the lead. I uh, don't know why I didn't film that, but I didn't. So there it is, all wet. Uh, so I'm going to start applying the chemical here. Uh, I'm wondering whether I might need to brush this chemical in this side. Um, but one thing to note is, look at that paint at the bottom. That is blown. Um, I have made the customer aware and have taken some photos, but I'm just going to have to be very gentle. So I think I might just stick with spraying um, because if there's no agitation. There's no risk of me damaging that anymore. So yeah, I think I'm just going to stick to spraying it on this side anyway. Right, anyway, enough waffle. Let's get going. Okay, 
that is working a treat um so yeah i don't need to uh get the brush on let me show you this so yeah look look uh, on that corner there i mean you can't tell now because that's all completely clean well no it's nearly clean i might have to go over that corner bit there again but you can see on this bit here here look at the difference so all the mold is dead killed off um, you can still see the yellow lichen which is why i'm going to have to gently very gently pressure wash it just to get those bits off anyway stop talking and let's do this Okay, so I've done one half of the house. Let me turn you around and look at the difference. It's like chalk and cheese. Massive difference.
Okay, this is all coming up nice. Uh, just turn you around. Um, the only thing is, you can see some yellow lichen. We'll get that with the pressure washer. A few rust spots. Anyway, so time to get up the ladder and have a look at this side. Oh, look at that crack. I don't know what the problem is with this uh, render, but um, yeah, it's not the best, but uh, a few cracks in it. Anyway, yeah, so mold there. Right, let's get the stuff up here and treat this. Have a good 15 20 minutes as well. Uh, as you can see, let me turn you around. So, no mold, everything's been killed. Just need to rinse it off now. Yeah, so let's do that. Right, so I'm just going to show you what I'm trying to get off because you probably can't see it there. Um, can you see there? Can you see that yellow streak and up the top? I'll have to zoom in on the edit again, but um, yeah, so I mean it is dead and if you left it, it would just come off over time. But it doesn't look very good and it needs to come off also please take note of that there that is not me that's been caused by ivy or sucker tendrils from some sort of plant most likely ivy the ivy most likely ivy you can see the remnants of it there on the brick so that is what that is that's damaged the uh, render
right so um, just something to deal with now um, all the lead around the property has held up pretty nicely in fact it's held up very well uh, there's been no oxidization anywhere except for this little strip above this window here now so all I'm gonna do is spray some very weak hydrochloric acid on here you can see that yellowing just at the top here so all that requires is just a little bit of hydrochloric acid aka uh, brick acid very weak mix and that will turn back to grey you watch right I'm just gonna put you on the on the stand because I can't do two things at the same time there you go I think you can see it right here we go see that instant
I am done. So the render's looking pretty good. It's still drying, so it's looking a little bit patchy, but yeah, I mean, that that's as good as you can get rough cast render looking. Um, like I said earlier, there are cracks uh, in it, and there's, uh, there's damage from Ivy tendrils there. Um, but apart from that, it's looking pretty good now. Yeah, pleased with that. So um, let's walk around here. That side's looking good. Up there. And there. I mean, what a difference. Like I said, it's a little bit patchy from where it's drying still, but um, yeah, massive difference there. All those dark stains have gone. Um, there are a couple of little bits of rust spots on there. What that is, is this is uh, rough cast render. Now, rough cast render is sand and cement um, mixed with uh, uh, gravel and stone chippings. And in those gravel and stone chippings, you sometimes get little bits of iron in there. Um, so those little bits of iron are actually in the render and they're, they're rusting and they're coming through. There's nothing I can do about that unless uh, those uh, chippings are removed but that would mean opening up the render and that's not something I do, I'm not a builder. So a builder would need to take care of that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna bother getting around there, up there, cause it means getting the ladder back out. I can assure you it's looking pretty good around there as well. So um, here's the patio. Boom, look at that. That looks like new. I mean, these are weathered a bit. Um, it's not been laid perfectly. Yeah, that's come up lovely. No spots, no lichen. Looking like me. And up there. So the customer did actually say to me, um, we'd like a quote for the driveway as well. So um, hopefully I'll come back and do that at a later date, which I will record. But yeah, you can see there's a bit of a difference between the clean and the dirty. Anyway, that's job done. Happy days, looking good. Good result. See you in the next one, guys. It smells lovely. <laughs> there you uh, go. Now tell me you've got white stuff on here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, happy with that. Yeah. Good.